the figure here is a ring with a thickness shown in black. All right, so there's a circle and it's empty in the middle. If the radius of the ring is R and the thickness of the ring is T, then which of the following ex expressions best describes the area of the ring? So you have to find the area of this black area. Uh, the radius goes all the way to the outside and the thickness is T. So T minus R would be the inner circle and then R would be the outer circle. So visually you should draw in the thickness, there's a radius R. And in terms of calculations, you know it's outer circle minus inner circle equals the area of the ring, right? So the area of the outer circle based on the radius r minus the area of the inner circle based on the radius of um, r minus t, that gives you the area of the ring. So let's do it. We have to get it in the form uh, of this. It should look something like this. So here you have pi r squared minus pi, and then instead of r, you have r minus t, r minus t squared. And all you got to do is just simplify it from there. You have pi r squared minus, and then if you multiply this out, you get r squared minus 2rt plus t squared. So that's r minus t squared is like having r minus t times r minus t. So then you do r times the imaginary r here, and then r times the imaginary negative t there, which is negative rt. And then you do this negative t times the imaginary r there so that adds another negative rt so then you get this negative 2 rt and then you have this negative t times the imaginary negative t over here and that becomes positive t squared so you, you should know this from you know middle school and high school anything squared is you just take this squared and that squared and then you add a term in the middle minus 2 rt so you simplify this and then you get a negative pi times all this. So that means you have a negative pi r squared. This negative changes to a positive. This positive changes to a negative. And then you find that things start to cancel out, right? You have a positive pi r squared and then a negative pi r squared. So that cancels out. So this, these two terms come down over here and then you can look at what's common in both of them. Well, they both have a pi they both have at least one t. So then you can factor out a pi t and then put a parentheses. And then you have two r here that's left over minus, there's still an extra t here, so then you do a t here. So you look at your answer choices, which of the following matches this? Well, it's here, answer choice e. So there you have it, pi t times two r minus t. <laughs> So looking back, this is basically a word problem with a diagram and you have to convert the word problem into an equation, right? So based on the diagram, you should know that you should definitely know this equation right here in terms of words, the outer circle minus the inner circle equals the ring. Because once you have that, it's easy to create the mathematical equation. Um, and you have to look at the question, right? The question says, which of the following expressions best describes the area of the ring. So the area of the ring is always empty in the middle. So in order to find the area of the ring, you have to find the total outside area minus the inside area to get the ring. So here it is. The mathematical equation reduces down to pi t times 2r minus t, and that is answer choice E. Times